Hello my Geminis and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course I'm Debbie and I'm reading for September 22nd through the 28th. Now I've done the overview. Um, uh, pray, meditate, believe. So take a peek at it. I'd appreciate it. I tell you about what's going on up in the planets. Also to I remind you all that these are general readings may or may not resonate. Take what you like leave the rest okay so my gemini's you got some interesting energies around you right now i feel like you are make you are coming to terms or i don't know necessarily that you're making peace with the past but we are entering into that um libra season and libra is in that south node so you know kind of balancing i feel like so that this is the time for my gemini's to i don't um to come to terms, I feel like you're coming to terms with the past. You may not like it. You may not like, you know, you may not like it. You may not feel comfortable with any of it, but at least you can put it to rest. I feel that this is a time maybe uh, for you, my um, my Gemini's, that you're, you're resolving your karma. You're kind of like, I'm done with this. And there's been a couple of signs that I've been doing with this, and maybe I did it in the overview where it's like, I'm done with this, and I, it's time to move on. I, I don't want to be living in this past anymore. Okay, so let's go on. Let's see, we got two cards that have fallen out. Put these here. They're both reversed. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else would you like to say to our Libra? Yeah, I get this, I'm done with it, I'm done with it. You know, it's taken me too much, it's taken too much energy taking too much energy and it keeps me from from living in my present okay so let's see what we've got here and you know this one is a perfect a perfect answer for that so we have an eight eight of Raphael, eight of water eight is unlimited opportunities and possibilities Raphael is our water energy it is our cancer scorpio it's our pisces neptune oh my goodness deep 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 diving neptune looking into those dark energies, those dark places that we kind of want to bring to the light. And Pisces does help to bring some of that up to the light and kind of taking a look at those, those, at those thoughts, those energies, those, those emotions that we have held hidden, okay? I just get this, I'm done with it. I do not want you holding me back anymore. Uh, I have to let you go, and if you don't let me go, that's your issue. It's not mine, okay? And I'm not talking so much about relationships as much as I'm talking about more that supernatural part, that, um, you know, that karmic part, okay? So eight of Raphael, there's opportunities. There's emotional opportunities out there. There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So she needs to, you know, what she's going to do. There's like money there. There's a, you know, we don't know what she's leaving behind, but she's ready to move. She's ready to go over the bridge. Anyway, next card is the page of Gabriel. So pages, court cards. Pages underlying energy is our earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, uh, money, job, career, home. Gabriel is our fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, we know Aries, North Node. Leo has Venus in it, relationship. She really wants this Venus and, you know, what I think she was squaring with Jupiter. She means business. She wants to get things done this time around. Sagittarius, passionate, burning, very determined. So there is something happening for you. It's kind of like you cannot go forward into this positive energy until you let go of the stuff that um, has not been helpful to you. Now, remember... And though this is not a full moon reading, I'll do that next time around. The 29th is the full moon. It is in Aries. Very, very strong pushing forward energy there. But it is a time to release, relinquish, and request. And so many times, you know, I use my words. I release what's, no long, what's, what's holding me back. I relinquish what I don't want anymore. And I'm requesting good stuff, good energies, okay? So the page has a passion. The page of Gabriel wants to move forward and is saying, let me open my arms. Let me open my arms and embrace my future. Energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. 
So here, from going in, from going into the unknown, the page is like, you know, opportunities for adventure. For um, what did it say? For excitement and adventure. Another one reversed. And we have the page of Ariel. So underlying energy, Earth. Ariel is Earth. So this is a job energy. So this is something that could be very, very um, money-making for you. So this is, like I said, page, page, page. Something that you really are excited about. Something that's kind of like, yes, this is, this is a good fit for me. But then this is something that, um, this is a new job. This is an excellent opportunity. This is something that could bring you money. Okay, reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. So these pages, these pages in themselves has a lot of this money energy, earth energy, um, maybe even a new home, but it's an exciting time. It's passionate. Your emotional self, your emotional um, equation, um, your emotional quotient is really ready to let go and move into this. But you've got there something that you've got to let go of and just say enough. Enough of the old and moving on to the new. Okay? So I like that. I really like this. There's more. There's opportunity. Opportunity awaits you, my Geminis. It's time to move on. Time to move on. Okay, let's see. Guardian angels, what else do you want to say? What else do you want to say to our... Geminis. What else do you want to say to our Geminis? Here we go. Okay, not reversed. The seven of action. So seven, divine number, divine umbrella. Action is our fire energy again. Oh, she's getting ready to throw that snowball. You're being called up. Okay, you're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict, kind of what we were talking about, rather than a conflict with others. Ooh, sometimes we can be afraid of success. Sometimes we can be we can get to a point where we're afraid of trying to. You know, many times we can have so many knockdowns that we we forget to get up again. So it's this is a good time for my Gemini's for you to get up. Get up and try again, okay? Okay, we're going to do inspirational wisdom from angels and fairies. I, as I'm doing my cards, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I pulled a little bit too many cards to do, but we're going to do them all. Let's see. You tell me. Anyway, let's see what we've got going on here. What do we have going on for our Geminis? Inspirational wisdom. This one is again, oops, put that there. Put these here. Reversed. Celestial angels. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. There are angels all around you, yet you still feel alone. Let them guide you to a place of peace. Do you feel alone? Don't feel alone. We're, you know, we come together. You know, I, I truly believe, I, I, I don't have the biggest channel in the world here, but I do believe that we come together for a reason. So... Know that you, when I say what I say at the end, it, I truly, truly mean that. Okay, we're going to go and do now the um, crystal energy with the, what is this called? Angel gemstone, oracle cards. Let's see what they have. They have different gemstones, so you, I might be sending you shopping. Here, let's see what we've got here for our Geminis. Geminis. What do we have for our Geminis? What would be helpful for them? Here we go. Here we go. Snowflake Obsidian. Are you afraid of the dark or the unknown? Oh, kind of what we were talking about here. Do you feel vulnerable? Yeah, there we go. Um, there is always darkness within light. Darkness accentuates brightness to clearly see situations, people, and circumstances. Embrace the darkness to enhance the clarity in your life. Interesting. Snowflake obsidians. And this has a little bit more to say. Angels of Angel of contrast. I courageously see through the darkness of adversity to make positive changes that light up my life. I know there is light at the end of the tunnel. I see myself, situations, and others clearly and participate 
in the transformation of negative to positive. Make some good uh, affirmations for the moon too. So, okay, now we're going to go to our living Reiki healing cards. Here we go. I'm going to shuffle. What would be, you know, I love Reiki, Reiki energy. Reiki energy, um, provide Reiki for our Geminis. What do we have for our Geminis? Gemini, Geminis, move you over. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Get spiritually fit. Who is this for? We all want to have, oh, we have more with clarity, don't we? We all want to have clarity, inner strength, and a sense of purpose in our lives. But like physical fitness, it can take effort and ongoing commitment. Getting spiritually fit means living authentically, being true to yourself in everything you do, in your work, relationships, and leisure time, and making life choices from a place of courage, love, and trust. Instead of from fear, which is really what living the Reiki, okay, instead of from fear, which is really what living the Reiki way is all about. A place of courage, love, and trust. Oh, interesting. I know, they, like I said, I, might, I don't know if I've given too many cards, but they all seem to fit, don't they? So... Interesting. Let me know, my Geminis. Do the comment. Do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell right down there. I appreciate you listening. I really do. If you're watching me on, Ra on Rumble, then Rumble me too. As always, though, and most importantly, my Geminis, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.